Okay, C. Lindelof videos. Quick tips to maximize your TI Inspire cast. This is just really easy stuff, but until you like kind of wander through your calculator, you never get great at it. So here's an opportunity. And I thought what we do is just look at this key right here, right? Just this key right here. So let's do that. Let's go to calculator and see what this thing does. It's actually really, really simple. So I'm gonna go here. First thing I can tell you is that this is pi, and you can use that just as it is. A lot of people are still writing 3.14, 3.14, and they're extending it out. This is the precise key. The other option that you could use is actually to type in the word pi, and it will read it as pi. However, so there's one use quickly. Second, this is I, the imaginary number. So let's say for a second that you have, that you're going to try to multiply complex numbers. If you use this I on the calculator, this one right here, it's not the imaginary number. This one is specifically the imaginary number. So if I close, well, if I close this set of parentheses and I multiply times, let's do 3 plus I again, just because we know what the answer will be, 3 plus I, right, 3 plus I again, it will not only multiply it, but it will simplify it. So the I key, the imaginary number key, so when you're using complex numbers. All right, just, I guess, a couple more things quickly. Um, this key E is E, Euler's number. Of course, if you hit enter on your cast, it's just going to give it to you back. However, remember that if you hit control equals, right? So if you use control and then an estimation key here, it will give you, so this is Euler's number. Remembering that if you used E on the, on the, uh, alphabet set there, you, it would not give you a numeric value. So, all right, let's start anything. Oh, you know what? There is one more thing that I could, uh, I guess two things. This, you can use this theta, right? This is commonly used as the trigonometric variable, the theta, the, the angle of interest. So you can use that if you want to. Uh, all it does is create that as a variable for consistency. However, this next trick is really cool because my calculator is always set up in radian measures for trig. So check this out. So if I put in um, sine of pi halves, pi halves, it should come back as one, right? Right? Pi halves radians should come back as one. However, if I put in sine of 90, because I'm in radian measure, it's not reading degrees, it comes back as this. And that's a mess because we know that should come back as a good answer. So you have a couple options. One option is to go back into your menu and change your settings. The other option is just to do this, sign, and then tell your calculator that what you mean is degrees. So go back to your pi key, and you can just hit degrees here, which provides clarity to your calculator, and guess what we're going to get? Thank God that worked. So, um, you know what, I'll do one more thing for you just to show you this, um, because there is one more key here that you could use. So let's do this. Let's say, for example, that we're going to try um, to solve a differential equation using d solve. Well, how do you put in y prime? Well, the way you put in y prime would go be go here and pick this. This is prime. And then you can set this up and say is equal to, hell, I don't know, uh, x squared plus 3. x squared plus 3, sorry, you guys, plus 3, comma, x, comma, y. I'm not trying to teach you this piece of calculus right now, but I am saying to you that that is what that key here is for, all right? So there's tons of stuff this calculator can do, and sometimes finding out the little things is really, really helpful. So I hope this was of some help to you. I tried to keep it short. If you have any questions or comments, or even better, if you have any other things, you're like, damn, that, this is something I've figured out, and it works really well. If you share it with me, I'll share everything back out with you guys. So thanks. Uh, appreciate you watching. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. And please, subscribe.